Brothers, welcome again. And today we will start with the poetic statement of Paul. Yeah, yeah, Paul was also poetic. But let's start with the first. Um, 2 Timothy 2, verse 11. Here is a trustworthy saying. If we died with him, we will also live with him. Wow, those are beautiful words. With this verse, Paul begins a poetic statement, which will continue to verse 13, which creates an easily remembered phrase that would have easily shared to encourage all the believers. These words served as a hymn or poem in the early church. And although it's not clear whether these lines preceded the letter to Timothy or if the lines originated in the letter itself, Paul underlined them as easily remembered important reminders that could encourage believers facing even the hardest of times. And secondly, the phrase, the saying is trustworthy, is unique to the pastoral letters of both 1 and 2 Timothy and Titus and help in the line and help set quotes or easily remembered phrases apart. The words captured here speak to the truth concerning our relationship with Jesus Christ. And thirdly, the first part of this statement echoes Col Colossians 2 verse 20 and 3 verse 1 to 3 in declaring that believers have died to sin and the world with Christ and also the assertion of 1 Corinthians 15 verse 52 that we will experience resurrection with him. The two words translated died and live in this verse rhyme in the original Greek and the same rhyming pattern is found in the following two verses as well. This easily remembered phrase could easily be relied among the early believers. Brothers, we sometimes fail to consider how lyrics and popular sayings influence and impact our lives. When the truth and God's word is successfully encapsulated to inspire and encourage one another in song, writings and proverbs or verse, it spreads quicker and it's more easily remembered and recited in desperate times and times of worship alike. The irony in this verse helps focus us on the truth. In order to live fully in Christ, we have to die to our sinful nature and the world's ways and norms. The two are incongruous and necessarily demand a choice. For the persecuted church, this verse served as a wonderful reminder that dying for one's faith in Christ was not loss. For in losing one's earthly life, one gained an eternal one. When we face the difficult moments in life, do we find ourselves bemoaning our situation? Or do we instead remind ourselves of the many abundant promises that God, who is in complete control, has in store for us as we trust, obey and rejoice despite our circumstances? May God bless you all.